the point of this video was for me to see how deep of a cut I would dare to make in this hot rolled steel. I've got about three to four inches sticking out and somewhere in the neighborhood of three quarter diameter. But I wasn't trying to be scientific about this at all. I really just was curious how gutsy I was because I wasn't really sure how hard I could push this carbide insert. I'm going to be making four cuts, uh, increasing by ten thousandths per cut. This is the first cut, ten thousandths. And the lathe is set up at 720 RPM with the feed knobs at 2C, which, if I understand the chart correctly, with the factory gear setup, I'm getting two and a half thousandths per revolution. I don't know what the thickness of the chip ends up being, and um, I really didn't care, so... You'll see here I get up to 40 thousandths and I lose my nerve after that. So there's no 50 thousandths cut. A couple of things I want to point out. Uh, you'll notice that right away I'm getting uh, straw colored chips with some purple and blue. When I was making the cut, I was really only seeing silver chips pile up at the 10 thousandths. On the 20 thousandths, I was getting kind of a lighter straw color, darker straw at 30 thousandths. And then at 40 thousandths, I was starting to see a lot of that blue and purple. So I was surprised to find out I could see all four colors in all four cuts when watching the video. Something else I'd like to note is that when I was making the uh, 10 thousandths cut, I was getting a really awful rubbing sound, and it got better or less the closer to the chuck that I got. At 20 thousandths, there was maybe half as much um, of the uh, cutting distance gave me the same rubbing sound. At 30 thousandths, almost no rubbing, and at 40 thousandths, no rubbing. I think it must be true what people say that carbide likes an aggressive cut because not only did the rubbing sounds go away the the deeper I got, but also the finish seemed to get a little bit better. The 40 thousandths finish is one of the best finishes I've got while cutting hot rolled steel so far. Uh, let's see. I also wanted to uh, note that the chips seem to get smaller or tighter which I'm not sure if that's a result of uh, the heat or just because it's a more aggressive cut. I think it has to do with just being an aggressive cut. Folds the uh, the metal over on itself a little bit more. But they're also much shorter chips, and they are hot. I had one of these purple ones hit me in the forehead, and it was only there for a fraction of a second, but it it burned. So please, guys, if you're using a lathe, wear eye protection. I'm, I'm wearing eye protection, and I'm glad that I was. Uh, let's see, that's the 40 thousandths cut there. So I didn't do a 50 thousandths cut because I just honestly didn't have the nerve to do it. And uh, I would do the 40 thousandths cutting again. I feel confident that that's pretty safe. So anyway, here are the chips, uh, mostly straw. You can see these thinner uh, kind of silvery long ones. And, you know, the darker they get, the shorter they get as well. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, don't forget to like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, more videos to come in the future. Thanks for watching.